Oh, it's a great pleasure to greet you, my dear learners. This is RevisionUGR.com. This is our lesson number 12. As usual, I'm your teacher, uh, Teacher Hakim. In this lesson, we are now going to discuss another optical instrument. Remember, uh, we said that an optical instrument is an instrument uh, that needs light in order uh, to function. Therefore, the lenses, there are also optical instruments. In this lesson, lesson 12 it is for lenses all right now we are going to understand what the word lens mean so when it is what is a lens however uh, dear candidates don't make a mistake of writing the word lens like this this one is wrong we only add the e when we are putting it in a plural lenses when it is one it's a a lens now a lens it is a transparent material first of all it is transparent why is it transparent to allow light pass through then it is transparent and has curved surfaces yes it has curved surfaces so the surfaces are having curves and these surfaces are capable of reflecting light in the previous lesson we looked at refraction and refraction in simple terms we are seeing light bend or light bending therefore a lens is a transparent material so a lens is a transparent material mm -hmm. a transparent material a uh, one a uh, with curved surfaces with curved surfaces and they are capable of reflecting light it's a curved surfaces capable of refracting light therefore a lens is a transparent material with curved surfaces capable of reflecting light mm, i think we are together therefore what you are seeing here are the lenses uh-huh they are made out of glass uh-huh then we have types of lenses we have the types of lenses and these lenses are um, a two uh -huh. one there is what to call a convex lens it is called a convex lens then another one is called the concave lens it is called a concave lens now let us start with the concave lens mm -hmm. now what is a concave lens a concave lens is a type of lens which is thin in the middle it is thin in the middle and thick and thick at the edges and thick at the edges so a concave lens is a type of lens which is thin in the middle and thick at the edges if we try to take the drawing uh, this is the edge now in the middle is thin then this is the edge in the middle is thin then our edges is thick so this is the edge and this is the middle piece so in the middle it is thin and at the edges it is very thick so it's called a concave lens now when you come to this one it is this type of a lens so this one is a concave lens now we can also get what to call a concave meniscus mm? just a piece of a concave lens halfway so this one is called the concave meniscus it is called the concave what a meniscus now how does this concave lens affect light mm -hmm. now if light rays let us now uh, first draw this concave lens once again here now we get uh, this uh, focal length on the principal axis then we are going to have our light rays just uh-huh like this one now when they reach there they are going to pass through because it is a transparent material now on reaching at this edge they are going to do what to bend and how are they bending they are bending going upward now this one will also pass through on reaching the edge at exactly the edge then it's now going to go downwards then this one is going to go upwards like this therefore this movement of this light rays is what we call diverging or they are forming what we call a divergent a beam of light therefore another name for a concave lens it is the diverging beam it is called the diverging beam because it diverges light or it sends light in different directions now there is a scenario 
uh, whereby uh, candidates uh, uh, failed, uh, they can bring for them this. They tell them uh, complete the red diagram. Now, what they do? They bring this one out. Then they make the reflection uh, in space. So this one is a caution. This one is very wrong. Reflection does not occur in space. It occurs at the edge because light is moving from one transparent material entering another and from glass to air. So at the edge here is where we do expect to have the bending. So that one is the concave or it is the diverging uh, lens. So these lenses are used in collecting what we call shorty sightedness. Those people who are good at uh, who are not capable of seeing uh, things at a distance. So the spectacles they do wear, they put there what you call concave lenses. We shall understand that one into uh, details. So when you look at this one, now the red diagram, it is this. So we are having light arrays there. On reaching here, uh, they are refracted in different directions. That is diverging lens or a concave lens. All right. Now let us look at another a lens here. And now this other lens is what we call. Uh, this other lens is what we call a uh, convex lens. Remember we've said uh, lenses they are transparent materials with curved surfaces, and those surfaces are capable of reflecting light. Now we have discussed the concave. Now let us look at now the convex. Uh -huh. Now uh, the convex lens for it it is thick in the middle so it is a type of lens which is thick in the middle and it is thin at the edges so it is thin at the edges there mm -hmm. that is what we call a concave a convex lens so if we try to draw it it is thick in the middle even here it is thick in the middle then at the edge here and here it becomes very thin uh -huh. it becomes very very thin so when you look at this one this one it is thin in the middle and the edge is very thick therefore uh, this one becomes the concave lens and now when you look at this one it is thick in the middle then at the edge is thin then this one becomes the convex lens uh -huh. now how does this convex lens affect light then this com uh, if we try to draw our convex lens here then we put there the principal focus a uh, principal axis sorry now we are having a light ray now that one and also here we are going to have another light ray now on reaching the surface here <coughs> this light ray is going to be refracted it's going to bend but on bending is now going to come and attach here now this is the refracted ray now we are going to have another one getting refracted also will come here now this is refracted now for them as they get they get refracted they collect at a point now when we look at the type of beam this one is it is the converging beam uh -huh. if it is a converging beam therefore this convex lens is also called the converging lens it is also called the converging lens then they can tell you how does a convex lens affect light it affects light by converging it at a point or how does the concave lens affect light it affects light by diverging it as you are seeing when when it comes here then it is reflected then it is going in different directions has been diverged uh-huh so those are the two uh, types of lenses and this lens here it is majorly i used in magnifying glasses it is also used in him uh, it is also used in the microscopes it is also used in what we call uh, yes in our eyes it is the one which is there and it is also a uh, used in collecting or correcting longo sightedness yes correcting longo sighted lens so those are the lenses then let us look at now the general uses of lenses are the general uses of lenses how useful are these lenses one are these lenses are used in photographic cameras 
Mm. Uh, those cameras which we use to capture and store images. So we call them photographic cameras. So we use lenses there. Number two, uh, these lenses are used in microscopes that are used by doctors to see um, um, a micro uh, microorganisms in our eyes. And also, they are used in spectacles. Mm. So they are used in spectacles worn by people with eye defects or with eye uh, problems there. And also these lenses are used in uh, projectors, right? So they are used in projectors. Uh, basically, these lenses are uh, basically used in optical instruments majorly. All right, my dear Lana, this one marks the end of our lesson number 12. You've been a good learner. I cherish your choosing revisionug.com. We meet in the next lesson. Keep up revisionug.com.